also can be uh, is, is actually uh, you know will uh, producing charge ah, third another information already so you see okay for I me alone I will have only one information but if you have 15 hours give different kind of information to that one particular subject you already have 15 information am I correct or not so that is that is another kind of deep learning because you're going deeper and deeper through this collaborative learning and active learning kind of process okay that is why discussion forum is there in the level am I am I correct with that nobody use it you know why because it's not interactive enough the color is sold uh, am I correct Because in Bevel, there is a discussion forum. Okay, actually, discussion, the forum can help the students go for deep learning, you know. You can pose a, a, a question, then you can discuss among us. Yes, we do have it. Okay, all of us, right? Because, yeah. No, they know how to use it. Because they are, you, you don't need to teach students to use software, basically. Basically, you don't need to teach them anything, basically. That is the thing that they have to really know. But they have to teach the lecturer as well. Yeah, they will teach you. Okay, they will teach you the, the latest thing. Because they know how to go to find out the information about that. That's why I say they are very independent. Okay, they are multitasking and so on. They are very good students now. They very creative somehow. But, okay, uh, the, the, the setting is not too good enough for them to interact. And even we are not... Uh, you know, uh, encouraged to do that also. Okay, through through a lot of uh, things, like, Okay, uh, okay, because uh, the students are not willing to go through this thing. But uh, in my Facebook uh, page for my subject, ah uh, yes, they love to talk about it and they have a forum. Okay, okay, they will comment on all the some of the things and so on. Because they love to go to Facebook rather than paper. So we have to know. Where we can okay, adapt this thing. Stimulating and considerate teaching is also important. Okay, because when the students don't have, okay, you don't stimulate them, okay, they are, they are thinking, for example. Okay, they, you shouldn't you couldn't relate whatever that uh, the subject that you the information that you're giving to them is not going to bring them into okay uh, you know, deep learning. So it must be stimulating and considerate teaching. Okay, you must be considerate also. You must be flexible a bit. So they will love you. They, they will love Miss Sheila. Okay, all the students. So they will go for deep learning just to impress her. Okay, they will go for it. And interest in subject matter is very important. That is our, our responsibility. Okay, it's our responsibility to make the interest in subject matter. And how we are going to do that? This is another question mark, which we already know how to do it. We already get some ideas. Okay? At the end of this uh, course, I think you are already able to know the overall picture. How are we going to do that? And previous experience of educational setting also will create deep learning. Because if your educational okay, setting is like that, then it's easier for you to go for deep learning. That is what has happened in US and UK. Most of them the educational setting is go for deep learning. So they always encourage to do that. So that is why if you want to ask a Malaysian to write about mosquito, you will get only one page. But if you want to ask a, a, a German guy or UK guy to write about mosquito, you will get a book. That is why I, I quote this from uh, Dr. Mahadi Singh. I still remember what he said during some uh, Amnu General Assembly. I still remember, I heard his uh, uh, speech last time. Okay? From that day, it actually strikes my mind eh? uh, how much different is that okay? with us, okay? with, the, with the, edu the educational context okay? from Europe, US and also in our Asian country. Okay? I'm not saying only Malaysia, Asian countries. Eh? Singapore also say same thing because they also are exam oriented. Even the suicide rate over there is also increasing due to the exam. Okay, that is it. Okay, so very important. Okay, okay. how many of us are? Okay. I think all of us are, are, are willing to do this now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so all of us are doing this, isn't it? Okay, but there's only one person I'm really concentrating on. Eh? Who's that? Eh? The girl over there. I don't know why. 
Maybe she's so impressed with the lecture. Okay? Alright? So all of them are actually sleeping except that. Okay? This is basically what is happening in our lecture class. Okay? It's, this is a, the real thing. Okay? If, if you look at five to six class, this is what is happening. Basically, students are cannot pop up anymore. Because they start their okay, journey okay, from their home for seven o'clock. And you ask them, okay, stay until five, six, seven. It's not going to work. Right? But as you know that with the limited capacity, the facilities that we have here, we have to go through that. So that is why, as, uh, as uh, what Mr. Rasul suggested, he got the point that when you have a five to six class, six to seven class, don't do lecture. Do discussions with them. Do discussion. Okay, guys, okay, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Or even you can, you know, talk about, uh, distract a bit about the tutorial questions and so on. Okay, you can put a like, video or some, to show some animation thing, multimedia thing to them because everything is the internet nowadays. Okay, if you put a video, they will see you because they won't get bored. You know why? Because this is something new for them, a new face. An English guy is talking, it's different from an English guy talking. <laughs> okay, it's always a different thing. Okay, they will open the eyes more. Okay, isn't it? They will open their eyes wider compared to the English guy talking. Okay, I think all of us have that kind of mentality. Okay? Asian is like that, huh? all of us like that. Okay, so that's why I'm still wondering why this girl is still. Maybe she's great with me, yeah? Blank. Blank, blank with me. Sleeping, yeah. Maybe she wants. <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay, I will take note of that. Okay, <laughs> pretend, sleeping with eye open. Okay, a lot of things, eh? Okay, yeah, most of our lectures are doing like this, isn't it? It's just speaking on lecture, lecture, lecture. Okay, some of them. Okay, we say what about guys this? Okay, I stop listening after five minutes. Okay, but we still <laughs> thinking that the student will okay grasp whatever that we actually taught them. It's not that, eh? all right. So we have to now be flexible. We have to adapt to new concepts and things. Okay, which is going to open. Uh, okay, we are bringing you to the, the new way of teaching. But there's a, another thing, eh? some of you will say it's, it's very easy eh? to just say, but it's very hard to adapt. Yes, correct. If for 450 students like me, I have a one class about uh, 150 students. Okay, I have three sessions, I have to do three sessions. Okay, I have 150 students per session. I can't do discussion. It's very terrible. You cannot do it. Because you, if, I, if 150 students start to talk, you just imagine uh, what will happen. Okay? They are havoc, isn't it? So I cannot do that. So uh, yeah, we have to bring, we have, we have to still lecture, but in a different way. Okay, we can put video, ask them to just watch, but we have to close the uh, lights. Now. If those who want to sleep, sleep. Now. Okay? Those who want to stay awake and uh, watch the you know, lecture through the video. Or animation or multimedia things, more visual. Okay? Put it more visual, multiform pictures and so on. Eh? It's a bit different. Alright? Or even you can uh, invite us, us you know, uh, guests okay, from industry. Okay? Industries and so on. This is very helpful for the students. It'll be very helpful for the students. Alright? Because it's a different thing. When it's, they see the different people talk in front, they will be alert compared to same piece every day. Okay? A bit boring, eh? Alright. So, there are six principles of effective teaching in higher education. That we may add up all these six or just pick up one or two from here. Okay? It's not necessary eh, to have all these six. That only we become an effective teacher. It's not like it's not like that. Okay? So principle, the first principle is interest and explanation. Okay, I will discuss later about it. The second one is constant respect for students and students' learning. Okay, this is a bit lagging among most of our lecturers. Eh? Yeah. And the third principle is a 
appropriate assessment and feedback for the scale goals and intellectual challenge. The fifth principle is independence, control and engagement. The sixth one is learning from students. What is Jews for this week? Okay, learn from students. Okay, me too. I always look at the feedback from the students. Okay, what the students wrote during my academic evaluation, what they actually wrote. Some of them very honest, some of them try to, you know, go with the lectures, so they will say very good lecturers, blah 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 things, then they put their name also, shouldn't put. <laughs> okay, some of them will uh, write a love letter during their final exam. Sir, I'm a final year student, I'm going to graduate, so please pass me. Okay. I already I, I took I'm taking I'm I really I, I taking the subject for third time, please pass me. Sir, you are very good lecturer, you are very interesting, blah 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 blah. Oh, please pass me, yes, sir. Okay. There's a lot of strategies the students will use. Okay. So we have to very well with that. Okay? Okay. Uh, let us go for the first uh, principle here. Okay? Principle one. Interest and explanation here. Okay? It's very important to know that the quality of explanation will stimulate students' interest. It's very important. Okay? Because if you explain, okay, students, C is equal to MC squared, M is the mass, and the C is the speed of the light, okay, yeah, squared, right yeah, okay, finish. If you do like that, it's not going to stimulate students' interest. You must create something, some, some kind of a, you know, a way that will stimulate their interest. Okay? Not like what I've seen just now, right? For the, the, the class, the 8 o'clock class. He just over there, he just really word by word. And the students fall asleep a bit here and there, some of them, okay, already, okay, go out from the class and so on. Okay? So, it's very important for us to do that. Okay? The quality of uh, explanation is very important. When it's interesting, students will find it is a pleasure to learn it. Enjoy working hard at it. Okay? So, you must make learn as a fun thing. When it's a fun, you will learn. Am I correct? Just now, okay, I ask you to do this kind of a project, the, the, the activity. Have you ever fun with it? I can see most of you have a fun, okay. Then some of say say cheese stuff or cakes or not. Okay, so some drawings. Because you have a fun on it, you, when you have fun on it, I, it's reflex. It's reflex just like this. Okay, so how, well, you, you can see yeah, how you can adapt in your teaching. Then, Explain of why the particular method of facts that has to be learned will be useful is very important. This is very important thing for those who are in uh, engineering and other things also. For me, engineering people are not focusing on this. Okay, you just give them the facts, but why it is being used? Why it may it be used in the industry? Some of them keep on asking, so why I have to learn this? Then I have to explain. Okay? Then they say, oh yes, okay, then it's very important for me. Then they will go for it. Okay? Don't just say it's in the syllabus, so I will teach you. If you say like that, finish. They go, they're not going to understand, they're not going, not going to concentrate on that. Okay? Once you say this is very important thing, you're going to use this in this industry, you're going to use in this particular field, uh, then it's very important. Okay? Then paint a vivid picture, clear picture of the benefits that can be accepted from mastering the subject. This is very important, you know. Okay? Because if you don't give them a clear picture of what they are going to get after the subject, okay, after they learn the subject, then they are not going to appreciate it. Okay? So once you teach about management, for example, okay, okay, when you learn about this, you are going to adapt this into this. Uh, then they start to have some interest. Otherwise, the interest will just fly. No, so it's very important for us. Okay, that is the first principle. Interest and explain. I think create interest and explain to the students why it is that this subject is important. Then constant respect for students and students' learning. Also important thing. Okay? So our consciousness of students and our consideration for them is very important. Okay? We have to consider the students. Okay? That's why I already told you, Utah student is different, UM student is different. So you have to, you don't compare. Okay? If 
we compare then we cannot move on ok so you have to adapt to that you cannot expect them to become like the UM students ok yes there are a few students you can find a few students only not all of them ok we have to really okay, take this as a fact right? so we have to bring them to, to be like that okay? like the UM students ok that is very important university teaching is most often written by sheer lack of interest in and compassion for students and students learning this is a very important thing that we have to uh, a point that we have to because how many of us are really think about okay if I teach like this the students will understand how many of us really think about oh okay this is the way the student might like no, no none of us we just do what the way that they we like not as what they like or they they want isn't it no. so this is another thing that we have to really okay consider about okay when we Good teaching is nothing to do with ma making things hard. Okay? If you're making things hard, you set up a very hard questions, you have a 100% failure rate every year in your subject. Okay, that is a very good teacher. <laughs> that is not what we call as a good teaching. Okay? Good teaching means okay, to make that subject to be interest and fun. Okay? Once it's fun and interest, okay, the student will remember you forever. When they remember for you forever, that means they remember the subject forever. Okay? Motivate the students to master the subject is also important. Okay? Always motivate them, always ask them why and so on. Okay? It's quite sometimes hard to do when we have a very huge classes. Okay? Huge classes. But after the midterm, you already know who's the poor who the you can actually target on them. Okay? It just needs I can say frankly to you, you might say, okay, I need to publish, I need to do research, I need to do this, blah, 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 admin work and so on. But actually, yeah, you just need to spend about 30 minutes per day, okay, to, to do these things. Okay, I have tried. I just need 30 minutes, okay, to really go through what the students' problems and so on. Okay, if you can spend one hour from the eight hours in your office, that one, one particular hour you can just focus for your teaching. Okay, then you can have your lecture. Then after that you can do your research work and blah blah blah. Okay? Up to you how you want to do that. The third principle is appropriate assessment and feedback. Okay? How many of us give a feedback when you put a wrong thing? If you put a wrong, it's a wrong. Okay, this formula is wrong, for example. Okay, but how many of us are good or wrong, then give a, okay, this is wrong because of you, let's see this. How many of us did that? Okay. If a small class of students, okay, please do that. A big class, I know, we don't have a time to learn that. Okay, I must be very practical. Okay. We have to be very practical. Okay. Then setting an appropriate assessment task. Okay, you can see that all of the students are a bit happy-go-lucky students. Okay, relax, okay, we like to have a fun and so on. So your assessment method also must be like that. Okay, when I look at my all my 450 students this year, okay, let us do some video. Okay, video shooting. They they love to do that. And then they post it in the YouTube. Okay, then they give starting to give comment for each other. Okay, some of them will be nasty also, but never mind. <laughs> okay. It's okay, good. At least uh, they learn and uh, you know, show the interest. Because they, they love to go outside. They don't want to learn just on the textbook. Because most of the assignment we need, we just okay, uh, answer the questions. Okay, we just give some circuit, about 10 circuit, then after that they ask them to solve. That is the assignment questions. Don't do like that. Okay? 